Alright, so I notice a lot of people are wondering how to make their CSGO run smoother, especially the people who are playing on a laptop or maybe a budget PC. I've noticed them specifically have been asking how to make CSGO not only run faster, but also run smoother, mainly because as more game updates come out, as Valve releases more updates, the game is becoming more graphic intensive, surprisingly, even though it really isn't right now. For example, the new cache, when they first released the update that completely changed the entire cache map, it was so graphic intensive that people on budget PCs and laptops would not be able to play it at all. Now lucky for you guys, they have been changing the map and that is not the case anymore, but still, for the people who want to improve their game and their overall playing experience, today I'm going to show you how to do that updated. So yeah, here we go. So first, before you go into CSGO, you're gonna wanna come into your Steam library, find where CSGO is, right click it, go to properties, and then click set launch options, which is gonna be on the general tab. When you click this, it's gonna bring up this box. Now, what this is for is this is for typing in commands that Steam will automatically execute as CSGO is booting up. Now, down in the description of this video, there's gonna be a set of very strange looking code and basically you guys are going to want to copy and paste that into this box right here and my, i already have it in my clipboard so i'm going to go ahead and paste it right now and it's going to look like this now here at the beginning you'll see this code has a bunch of weird symbols and abbreviations for things and basically each one of these things is their own command unique to a different feature of the game so you can first see here the W and the H is your width and height. This is basically your playing resolution. It's gonna force it to 920 by 1080. Now, for me, I don't really have to worry about this. I always play at 1920 by 1080, but if you don't, you might wanna change this. If you're playing 720p for some reason, or if you have a 720p laptop monitor or just monitor in general, you're gonna wanna change that to the correct 720p resolution. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail of what each individual command does here, but basically this is gonna force CSGO to run a certain way that will keep it from trying to figure out what works best and also keep it from trying to run processes that are too intensive or trying to set your settings too high for maybe a computer that can't handle those settings. Keep in mind most of these commands are commands only, they cannot be changed in game unless you do it through console every time you open up CSGO. Now once you have this copy and pasted, like I said, it's going to be in the description of this video. You're going to go ahead and click OK and close out of all of that. Now you can go ahead and open up CSGO and it's going to automatically execute those commands. Alright, so once your CSGO opens up, you're going to want to come over to the settings and we're going to first start off in game settings. Now, most of this is going to be personal preference, but there are a couple of things you can change to make sure your game is always running at its smoothest. First of all, you want to turn off enable game instructor messages. Most people should already have this off, but if you don't, make sure you you set it to no. Second, you're going to want to come down here to max acceptable matchmaking ping, and you're going to want to slide this all the way down to its lowest. Now, if you know your Wi-Fi or your Ethernet is not going to be able to support a 25 ping maximum, then you're going to want to boost this up a little bit. I had it set at 50 before, and that's because my ping varies between 20, 25 and 35, and I don't want it to boot me from a game as soon as it goes over 25. So I personally think 50 is a good spot. Again, this is personal preference, but the lower you set it, the faster your game is going to be able to communicate with the servers, which means your playing is going to be a lot smoother. Most of this you don't have to worry about. A lot of it's personal preference. The next important part is going to be up in the video tab here. Now, a lot of you have probably already messed with these settings and they really do vary on the computer and what graphics you have, whether you're just running stock Intel or AMD graphics or you have an actual graphics card. But for most budget PC builds or laptop players, you're going to want to set your settings pretty low. And now with CSGO, if you come down here, this is where all your settings are going to be. So for these top settings here, you don't really have to worry about these. This is basically where you're going to put your resolution, which was already forced in the console command that we posted in the startup box. But if you are on a laptop, make sure laptop power savings is disabled. If you have this enabled, it's going to immediately make the game run slower and it's not going to push as much power as it can. It's going to try to preserve battery life, which means your frames are not going to go as high as they can and your overall playing experience is going to be a lot more choppy. Now, also a quick tip for laptop players, if you're playing on any Windows laptop, now keep in mind this only applies for Windows because I don't know if Mac has the option, but for Windows laptop players, if you guys 
have your laptop always plugged in while you're playing CSGO, you can go over to your battery settings and enable a high performance setting that will basically disable all laptop power savings modes. So basically what it means is when you have this setting enabled, you as provided your laptop is plugged in, you can play and push your PC components or your laptop components the very maximum they can go. Now coming down here, this is what you want to worry about mainly. Now like I said, a lot of you guys have probably already messed with this already, but you can set these to a very specific way to make sure the game performs the best. Now CSGO is not the most graphic intensive game, so to be honest, you can have most of these at low and your playing experience won't look that bad. While it will be smooth and you'll get a decent frame rate, some games graphics wise will look really really bad. CSGO is not the case, I played on all low graphics for the longest time with my last laptop and I honestly did not have that bad of a playing experience. But now with my new PC I'm able to push all of these to the max, so that is why my settings look very different. If you are playing on a PC though that is budget or you know cannot handle max settings, same thing with a laptop, basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set most of these to the lowest they can go. Global shadow quality, model texture detail, effect detail, shader detail, all of these you can set to the lowest. The only one you may want to have up to medium or high would be model or texture detail and that's if you have skins. Basically if you have skins you're going to want to put that on medium or high I would say because it's going to make your skins look a lot better and a lot less pixelated. If you're running a laptop or a PC that does have an i5 or an i7, mainly for laptops if you have that i7 in the laptop, make sure your multi-core rendering is on and while this might drop your frames slightly, you'll get overall better, smoother performance because you're taking advantage of that multi-core processor you have. With laptops specifically, it doesn't allow the most wattage to be able to flow through it even with the power cord plugged in, so turning on this setting will help with that. With multi-sampling anti-aliasing mode, you can put this on auto if you want to. This is not a big deal if it's on auto, otherwise I would recommend keeping it around 4 or 8. FXAA anti-aliasing mode, you can disable this if you don't want it, but this will cause a little bit of screen tearing and hurt that smooth performance. If that's not a big deal for you, go ahead and disable it. If you want to try it disabled and see how it is, again, go ahead and disable it. But I would recommend keeping this enabled. It shouldn't take away too many frames, but it'll give you a lot of that, a lot more smoother performance. For texture filtering mode, I would recommend having this at four, maybe eight if you can give, if you want to give up a couple extra frames. But I would recommend that at around four or eight. For vertical sync, this will not take away any frames if you do have this enabled. So make sure this is always at triple, bu triple buffered. This will make your game so much smoother and will remove so much of the screen tearing that automatically shows up sometimes, especially when you're playing on lower settings. Now motion blur is personal preference. This won't hurt your frames, it won't make your frames better, but it is personal opinion whether you want to have that super smooth, almost kind of blurry movement when you're moving or if you want to have it as sharp as possible. I used to play with motion blur on when I played on my old laptop with my low settings because then you don't see those jagged edges and a little bit of that little bit of screen tearing that is there when you're moving around quickly. Um, it looks better especially in YouTube videos, but again this is personal preference whether you want this on or not. And then for triple monitor mode you do not have to worry about that. You shouldn't have three monitors if you're playing on a budget PC or a laptop. Anyway guys, that's basically how you're going to make your game run smoother. Make sure you have that console command in the startup of the game like I showed you at the very beginning of the video and then make sure you set your settings accordingly to your PC or laptop. Like I said, most people's settings will vary, but I recommend setting most of everything to low if you are running a laptop especially. Anyway guys, I hope this video helps you guys. If it did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and uh, yeah. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, I stream every weekend right here on YouTube, so make sure you pop by the channel or have notifications on for that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.